You know, fuel is one of the most expensive parts of running a business. It can represent up to 40% of your operating costs. That means everyone's looking for ways to increase fuel efficiency. But can the right engine oil help you reduce fuel usage? Let's go find out. Sean, how are you? Hey, good morning. Hey, Kevin, good to see you. So, question for you guys. Most people don't think of engine oil when they think of improving fuel economy and efficiency. Does engine oil really have an impact on fuel efficiency? Yes, absolutely. So there's a number of factors that can influence fuel efficiency, but one of the things is to reduce parasitic losses within the engine. And the engine oil contributes to that because there's actually work being done to push that thick fluid around the engine so that it can do its job. One of the things we've figured out is that if you use a thinner fluid, the engine has, actually has to work less to push that thinner fluid around the engine and it contributes to an increase in the fuel economy. Interesting. Now, this messes with me a little bit because I've always been under the impression that a thicker oil is gonna protect the engine better. It's gonna stay on those parts better. You're telling me that a thinner oil can also protect? Well, thinner oils have to meet all the same performance requirements, including wear, that thicker oils do. In API CK4 and FA4 categories, it's the same set of performance tests you have to meet regardless of the viscosity of the oil. And in addition to that, I think most engine builders these days factory fill with 10W30. They wouldn't do that if they didn't think the oil was going to be able to provide enough protection. When we developed our FA4 5W30 product, we field tested for two years with an even thinner oil, 0W20, just wow. to ensure that there wouldn't be any issues in the real world. Interesting. So one thing I've noticed when I change oil on my equipment is, and, and tell me if I'm crazy, it seems like the oil thickens over time. Is, it, is that kind of true? Yes, the thickening is caused by oxidation of the oil and by soot getting into the oil. We formulate oils with powerful dispersants and a whole system of antioxidants to control that viscosity increase. Soot and oxidation drive the viscosity up and we keep those under control with the additive package. All right, so I have to ask the real question. What kind of fuel savings are we actually talking about from changing an oil viscosity? Well, as they say, Brian, that your mileage may vary and it's sure. influenced by a number of factors, including the climate and the duty cycle and the types of oils that you're using today. But we've found in testing that we've done on the road, as well as in carefully controlled laboratory environments that you can expect to see in fuel economy improvements in the range of as maybe as low as 1%, as high as 5% just by changing to a different fluid. Just from changing yeah. your oil. Right, so one or two percent wow. comes from that lower viscosity benefit that we talked about earlier. But one of the things that we've gotten smart about more recently is the impact that the engine oil has on the after treatment system. A lot of people don't know that there's something like three to five percent of fuel that's burned just to keep the after treatment system warm. And that wow. fuel economy penalty gets worse over time as lubricant derived contaminants accumulate in those systems, increasing their back pressure and actually requiring them to regenerate more often. By using lower ash products, you're actually keeping that system cleaner and keeping that fuel economy performance much closer than to the way it was new. So I'm gonna be honest, like these are way more impressive numbers than I was anticipating when we started this conversation. So, so my final question is, do you guys have any advice for someone that's wanting to take advantage of the fuel savings by switching oils? It all starts with a conversation with your Chevron representative. They can help you navigate the landscape of what is the right selection of fluid for your operation. And in particular, if they're interested in fuel efficiency, there's great products developed that the Delo 600 ADF, as well as their Delo 400 XSP, offer those kinds of fuel savings that uh, can significantly impact your bottom line. Well, thank you again, guys. This is really solid advice, and it's, it's great to get this out to people. Engine life, extended drain intervals, and as we've talked about here today, fuel efficiency. These are three major factors impacting your bottom line. To find the right product for your operation, visit choosedelo.com.